have your pictures all throughout our office area. They're little yeah. ones that stick on the wall. But these are fancy. And this is a great gift to give somebody you love to spruce up your house for Christmas, right? Absolutely. President of PosterJack.ca, look at this display. Well, this is a gallery wall. And PosterJack is best known for creating really large pieces of art. So it might surprise you that a lot of our most popular sizes are more small and medium sized in nature which is perfect for these gallery wall style settings. Wow, that's such an accent piece, like you said. Or you can just split them up and put them in different rooms. It's up to you in your space. Yeah, so this is kind of like a feature wall. And the neat one, and what I wanted to talk to you about with this one, is that think about the layout. You can go online. There's tons of inspiration on places like Pinterest, blogs, websites like House. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun to go on there, find the layout that works for your space, and then go about picking the art pieces that you want to put up there. Do you help with that if we don't have a good eye in terms of the interior design and the layout of the artwork? Uh, we, you can go on our blog and yeah. there's lots of ideas on there. We don't have uh, like a specialized tool for creating gallery wall layouts because okay. there's so many of them. So I, like I said, just go onto the web, browse around. If you go on Pinterest, there's a million ideas. To get ideas. Yeah. Okay. Then over here we have two distinct looks. The first? So the first one, what I wanted to get people thinking about was the theme when you're creating a gallery wall. So. Really, the ideas are infinite. It could be flowers, it could be vegetables, it could be your favorite hobby. But this one's my personal favorite, and that's architecture. Mm -hmm. So you can just go walking around Toronto or when you're on vacation, find interesting buildings, neat angles, make sure you zoom in. And you that's can come the up, key. Yeah, zoom in makes it look really professional. And so you can do something totally yourself, pictures that you take, and come up with an artistic looking wall that looks like it was done professionally. Yeah, you have the staircase, you've got the exterior of a condo building with all the different balconies coming out, the symmetry of it all. Yeah. Really good job. And then over to the far end. Yeah, so over on this far end, this is my favorite. This is an eclectic looking wall. And the great thing about this is that you can mix and match different styles of products. So instead of just going with just frame photos or just canvases like we saw on the first wall, on this one you've got something like a photo board, which is just a print on a plain white board, a metal print, so we print the photo directly onto metal, you can mix and match frames, gallery boxes, and this one I wanted to show you, which is really cool. It's my favorite product from Poster Jack. It's the acrylic print. So we print directly onto a piece of acrylic. Okay. Uh, right onto the backside, and it's a really glossy, cool-looking photo. Look at that. Can they pick that up? Let's see. Yeah, they can see the reflection there. Yeah. That's amazing. So you can truly take, you know, ownership of the artwork in your house, and the photography is art onto itself. It's exactly. your own little installation. Yeah, and the stories that you can tell when people come over and see this wall. This particular one could be of the vacations that you went to over the year. And the great thing about that is that you can keep adding to it. So you go on a, a new vacation, you take a thousand photos, yeah. you pick the one that defines it, come back and put that one up on the wall, and then you've kind of immortalized it. I'm going to put you on the spot. Can we talk pricing? Because um, there's a big difference, right? Is sure. something like this where you have the, the metal effect, is it more costly? Uh, it is more costly on metal. So something like that might be $80 on metal. Okay. Um, for that first gallery wall we looked at in canvas, the total wall of five large canvases this would be about six hundred dollars that's amazing yeah, to think so, you know to buy an, a piece of art that would fit a wall that size would be thousands of dollars yeah it is actually very affordable okay and then how about something like this uh these smaller gallery boxes those are about forty dollars each forty dollars yeah. and then the matted and framed uh matted and framed that whole wall is 185 dollars for those four pieces and that's including the printing and everything all said and done how long does it all take so if i'm thinking i want to do something for my parents and put some pictures on the wall for them and give them you know the christmas present yeah. does it take a long time does um, it depend also on the process we're usually pretty quick. Uh, we've got lots of time left before Christmas, and it depends on the product. So they can be done in 24 hours if it's just like a plain print, up to 10 days for a metal print or an Ooh, print. Yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So that's great. Keep that in mind, everybody. At PosterJack.ca to follow them on Twitter. Also, PosterJack.ca for everything you need to make your own gallery at home and on Facebook. Facebook.com slash PosterJack? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And what's this about uh, winning a Canon? Camera? Well, we've got an awesome contest on right now. There's this can new Canon camera that just came out, the 70D. It's valued at uh, $1,650, and we're giving one away right now on our How? poster. Uh, just go to the Poster Jack uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash Poster Jack, and yeah. you can sign up, and the uh, draw is happening December 1st. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Good to see you. We'll be back with more BT right after this. That's a nice little present. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty nice present. Okay. Very nice.